welcome friends to new session of molecular biology central dogma with the discovery of dna double helix in 1953 researchers interest turned to the next critical puzzle how the information is encrypted to a functional product normally dna of eukaryotic cell is largely confined to the nucleus whereas protein synthesis occurs on ribosome in the cytoplasm some molecule other than dna must carry the genetic message from the nucleus to the cytoplasm this question gave rise to the central dogma of molecular biology a more modern interpretation of the central dogma of biology is that rna has structural and functional characteristics that are similar to both dna and proteins in many ways rna is therefore an intermediate between dna and proteins in more than one respect Sinner dogma holds the whole genetic information in living things. The scientists came out with three processes that facilitate the flow of information at the genetic level. The first is the replication, that is copying of parallel DNA molecule to form daughter DNA with identical nucleotide sequences. The second is the transcription, the process by which the parts of genetic message encoded in DNA are copied precisely into RNA. And the third is translation, whereby the genetic message encoded in mrna is translated on the ribosome into a polypeptide with a particular sequence of amino acids please see the chart on the screen which shows the flow of genetic information from dna to rna to protein and the second chart shows the extension of the central dogma to include rna dependent synthesis of rna and dna Central dogma was first stated by Francis Crick in 1958 and restated in a Nature paper published in 1970. Please see the figure. This shows the origin of the central dogma of molecular biology by Francis Crick in 1956. Now, replication. DNA must be duplicated in a process called replication before a cell divides. DNA is replicated in semi-conservative manner. that is dna replication is one helix of dna results in two identical helixes if the original dna helix is called the parallel dna the two resulting helices can be called daughter helices each of these two daughter helices is a nearly exact copy of the parallel we discuss the dna replication in detail later now transcription the process of forming mrna on a dna template is known as transcription the product of transcription of dna is always single stranded rna the single strand tends to assume a right handed helical conformation like replication a transcription unit is defined as that region of dna that includes the signals for transcription initiation elongation and termination transcription differs from replication in that it does not require a primer and generally involves only limited segments of a dna molecule additionally within transcribed segments only one dna strand serves as a template the template strand which is called the minus strand or the send strand which shown in blue in color that strand serves as a template for the mrna synthesis the enzyme rna polymerase synthesizes an mrna in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction which is complementary to this template strand the opposite dna strand we can see in red color is called the coding strand the non template strand the plus strand or the anti sense strand the simple way to find the corresponding mrna sequence that is shown in the green color is to read the coding non template or plus or anti sense strand directly in 5 prime to 3 prime direction substituting u for t that is uracil is for thymine If mRNA carries the code for only one polypeptide it is monocystronic if it codes for two or more different polypeptides the mRNA is polycystronic in prokaryotes this can represent the product of several contiguous genes in mammalian cells it usually represents the product of a single gene the 5 prime terminals of the primary RNA transcript and the mature cytoplasmic RNA are identical thus the starting point of transcription corresponds to 5 prime nucleotide of the mrna transcription and translation 
was differing in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Specifically, eukaryotes have non-coding sequences of DNA known as introns within a given gene that separating coding fragments of DNA that is exons. A primary transcript is made from the DNA and then the introns are spliced out and exons joined in a contiguous stretch to form messenger RNA which leaves the nucleus. We can see on the figure. This is the central dogma in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Translation The composition of the complex changes as the primary transcript is processed, transported to the cytoplasm and delivered to the ribosome for translation. It occurs in the cytoplasm. A codon is a triplet of nucleotides that codes for a specific amino acid. Translation occurs in such a way that these nucleotide triplets are read in a successive non-overlapping fashion. A specific first codon in the sequence establishes the reading frame in which a new codon begins every three nucleotide residues. Codons are the key to the translation of genetic information directing the synthesis of specific proteins. The initiation codon that is AUG is the most common signal for the beginning of a polypeptide in all cells. The termination codons UAA, UAG and UGA also called stop codons or nonsense codons normally signal the end of polypeptide synthesis and do not code for any known amino acids. When several different codons specify one amino acid, the difference between them usually lies at the third base position that is at the 3 prime end. For example, aladdin is coded by triplets GCU, GCC, GCA and GCG. The codons for most amino acids can be symbolized by XYAG or XYUC. The first two letters of each codon are the primary determinants of specificity, a feature that has some interesting consequences. Please see the figure. The first column gives the first codon of 5 prime end. Top row depicts the second base and the last column gives a third base which comes in 3 prime end and combinations of these bases gives a triplet codon and the highlighted portions that is AUG this is start codon then UAA, UAG and UGA these are the stop codons. In prokaryotic organisms the primary transcripts of mRNA encoding genes begin to serve as translation templates even before the transcription has been completed. This is because the site of transcription is not compartmentalized into a nucleus as it is in eukaryotic organisms. Thus, transcription and translation are coupled in prokaryotic cells. Accordingly, prokaryotic mRNAs are subjected to little processing prior to carrying out their intended function in protein synthesis. In eukaryotes, processing occurs primarily within the nucleus and includes nucleolytic cleavage to smaller molecules and coupled nucleolytic and ligation reactions that is splicing of exons. In mammalian cells, 50 to 75 percent of the nuclear RNA does not contribute to cytoplasmic mRNA. This nuclear RNA loss is significantly greater than can be reasonably accounted for by loss of intervening sequences alone. Reverse transcriptase produces DNA from viral RNA. Reverse transcriptase enzyme catalyzed transcription is a reverse process of normal cellular transcription of DNA into RNA, hence the name reverse transcriptase. Certain RNA viruses that infect animal cells carry within the viral particle an RNA dependent DNA polymerase called reverse transcriptase. On infection, the single stranded RNA viral genome, approximately 10,000 nucleotides and the enzyme enter the host cell. The reverse transcriptase first catalyzes the synthesis of a DNA strand complementary to the viral RNA. Please see the figure on screen. It then degrades the RNA strand of the viral RNA DNA hybrid and replaces it with DNA. The resulting duplex DNA often becomes incorporated into the genome of the eukaryotic host cell. These integrated and it is dormant. Viral genes can be activated and transcribed and the gene products that is viral proteins and the viral RNA genome itself packaged as new viruses.